Hello, and welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. Today, we're going to talk to you a little bit more about predator control. As you can see from the feathers in my hand and the feathers around me, I'm in the kill spot from where one of our ducks was taken from us the other night. I'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a walkabout, and uh, we're going to show you the feathers and an open trap, and then we're going to show you the culprit. Unfortunately, we won't be able to show you the tracks because we had a little bit of a storm last night and they washed away. So if you walk and pan the camera, you can see where the feathers go. And basically all we did was we followed these feathers, trail of feathers, all the way from where our farm was, all the way to where the kill spot was. So, if you remember from our first predator control video, here's one of the cages that we set. My son tried to camouflage it a little bit, and uh, we didn't catch anything in this one. This is the old, uh, the big tomahawk, and uh, I'm going to let the camera take the lead and show you the trail, and uh, we'll show you who the culprit was. So they literally came through, just back in the woods. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you've got to look for and you've got to take into account you got to look for the game trail what they call game trail and that's basically where the brush has been beaten down from the critters where they have used the same trail over and over and over and over again so that means sometimes you're going to have to Duck under a vine. Let's see. Come back through here. Step on some of these briars. And you'll see some more feathers. And you'll see our culprit. So what we caught here was a nice little, what they call a grinner. And they call her a grinner because if you can see right now, they don't growl or charge. All they'll do is just constantly just show their teeth and hiss at you a little bit. I mean, they might every now and then get get a little frisky and jump, but as you can see, that's really all they do. You scare them too much, they will just lay down and play dead, like they see in the stories. Um, a possum is a marsupial, and if spin it around you can see the bulge in her pouch where she might be where she might have some babies in there um, basically what happens is is when they're born they're about maybe like an inch long and they grow in her pouch just like a koala bear or a kangaroo and see you can see down in there you can see them now unfortunately or fortunately however you want to look at it is I'm because of the state law in Georgia and me being a nuisance wildlife trapper I do have to euthanize her and all the babies um, possums are a carrier of canine and feline distemper so that's why the state of Georgia wants you to put them down um, they're not a real big rabies carrier I don't even know if they can I don't I've never heard of it but uh so we're gonna have to euthanize her and all the babies but uh and again sometimes as a lunatic farmer, as a homesteader, you got to be part animal husbandry, part horticulturalist, part trapper, and part detective. Sometimes you just got to keep looking until you find the answers. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, don't forget to check us out on the web at www.bigbearhomestead.com. You can link to us from Facebook, and you guys are already checking us out on the YouTube. If you have any questions comments or concerns you can uh, send us a message via Facebook 
or uh, our website has our email address. Once again, thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead, and have a nice day.